What's up, sports fans? We are still here at Torrey Pines as our day continues here in the coach's locker room. I'm here with Torrey Pines pitching coach Chris Possumato as we've got one more day until round two of the CIF playoffs against Rancho Bernardo. And Coach Poss, you've seen lots of great pitching here in your short years of Kyle Hurt, Josh Sidney, and whatnot. But Joe McGreasy, he's something else. Really, what can you say about him as you've seen him firsthand all year long? Yeah, well, Scotty, he's the biggest thing is he just is so focused and his competitiveness any adversity he faces, he seems to just kind of hit the wall and go through it. Um, so he's just he's a fierce competitor and very laser focused. And you know, with that, he's the over 54 inning scoreless streak. It was unfortunately for him ended yesterday. But Coach McCaskill said yesterday about he's kind of happy it's over and that he, it's kind of off everyone's shoulders. Are you the same way, or would you kind of like to see it go a couple more innings? Yeah, I'm kind of relieved it's over. I actually didn't know about it until. Um, I think there was an article in the UT and had no idea. So we, then we got into it and then I sort of had it in my mind and um, I wasn't thinking about it too much yesterday. I wanted to win the game and so did Joe more than anything. But I'm glad it's over with and he doesn't have that pressure because, you know, as good as he is, he's still, you know, that's a lot of pressure to have on yourself to feel like you have to throw scoreless innings in, in order to keep a streak or, or win the game or win the CIF championship. So yeah, I'm happy it's over too. Yeah. And, you know, with McGreasy, although he did lose the streak, he got that big home run. From your angle, did you know it was going out right away, or what What were your emotions as that ball went over the fence? Well, I was I was nervous because the kid made a great play on Mac Bingham, and I thought, oh, man, that might have been our chance. And so when Joey got two strikes on him, I wasn't giving up because Joey's always been good with two strikes. He has a lot of two-strike hits. And so, you know, I told Max, our base runner, you know, we're going on anything hit, and as soon as he hit it, I yelled at him to take off, because in, at our park, as you know, the wind can, balls that are hammered can get held up, and I thought, man, can he score from first on this on a double? And so, then as I watched it and it went over the fence, I literally couldn't believe it. I was, I felt like, I, I just, I couldn't believe that he did it in that moment with that situation, with the crowd, the size it was. It was remarkable. It really was. I think I said it was probably one of the greatest single baseball moments I've seen of all time. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, I've been, this is my 21st uh, year coaching high school baseball, and that game absolutely ranks up there, if not the best one I've ever, the best inning I've ever been part of, but it's it, it, it's got to be right there if it isn't the, the best one. Yeah, definitely. And now we've spent a lot of time on Joe. Let's kind of go towards the entire team as a whole. Mm -hmm. You're 26 and 6 on the season, one of the better teams Tori has seen in the past several years with a chance of an open division championship and for you what do you think is really different with this unit well I think first off we have some tough kids I think it's good we have a couple football guys you know Jackie Plaskies brings this kind of a toughness that you need to have you know Max a football guy and he brings that uh, edge to Joey is obviously a difference maker but we've had we've had some you know positions change around a little bit our offense is definitely better Rick has you know since he's been here this is his second year um, we're, our average is above 300, and I think the first two years I was here, we would hover around 250, so, you know, 50-point difference. A um, lot of quality at bats. A lot of, we've taken, in our toughest games, we've knocked some of the pitchers out on the pitch count because we've just worked the worked those counts well. So I think um, our defense has been pretty good, but I think that kind of just our resilience, not ever thinking we're done or out of it, and, um, and having, you know, a pretty solid lineup, one through nine. And you know, you know this team more than more than any for you, more than anyone. For you guys, what needs to be, what has to be done to be a top San Diego County uh, in a couple weeks? Well, the the biggest thing is is if you if you win, if we win Friday, it really sets us up because yeah. you have to get beat twice in the next week. If we lose Friday and we have to play Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, we're going to really have to score a lot of runs, like everybody, because you you know your pitchers that are on that back end, they just haven't had the innings. And, and then they're here they are in the most, you know, pressure packed innings of the season and they haven't thrown as much as the other guys. And you just you don't know how that's gonna play out and especially if you're going against somebody on the winner's side. So if we can get a win Friday, I, I like our chances to get there. Um, no guarantees. If we don't, I, I think we're gonna really have to, you know, score a lot of runs and have some guys just step up that uh, and have some remarkable outings on the mound. 
Yeah, and that big game will be tomorrow here at Torrey Pines against Rancho Bernardo. Uh, first pitch at 3.30 p.m. Coach, thanks for your time. Good thanks, Scotty. Thank you.